Yeah, hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to initial open IDM in Windows 10. Okay, it's a very, very, very simple. So I will show you step by step so you can see till end of the video. Okay. So first, uh, before going to initial, we need to download uh, open IDM software from Backstage Forgera website. Okay, but before that, in your system, Java should be installed. Okay, now I'm going to download in open IDM 4.0 from Backstage Forgera website. So, Backstage forgera.com. So, here, before downloading open IDM software, you need to register first. So click on register. So here enter user ID, enter valid email ID, which is very important because we will receive activation email activation link. That is the account activation link. And enter the first name, last name, company name, phone number, country, and, and click on register. Once you click on register, you will get email verification link so then open your email inbox click on verification link and you can activate your account once your account is activated then comes to backstage postdoc website then click on sign in then login enter the username and password and click on continue so go to download so here you have to go to identity management click on identity management then comes to here here we have a two options latest and archive latest latest for option having latest software if you want to download you can go to the archive now we are going to downloading old version that is a open idea 4.0 so in this video i'm going to show you 4.0 and the next video i can show you i will show you uh, 6.5.0.2 open idm installation so that you will understand what is the differentiation what changes done in the latest version so now click on archive click on open idm click on 4 click on full release click on get up, up, option then you can download the open item software so now i'm going not going to clicking on get because already i have downloaded so i have downloaded and copied into one location i will show you yeah here <coughs> we have downloaded open idm 4.0.0 so here we can unzip it yeah now open idm software downloaded and unzipped right now now uh, we can open command prompt windows command prompt so go to cmd so command prompt to open go to this location so now i am in the location now so before going to start open idm so we, i will explain some briefly about the folder structure the con folder containing complete configuration of open idm details and boot folder containing the basic open idm very important properties so open boot dot properties here so here we have a ports and all we have okay right now it is a default port is 8080 so in my system already the port is using so that i'm going to changing the port so 80802 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8080 8
so then we have to save it once you save close this one and we have embedded open orient db open idm using embedded open orient db database as a backend server so this is the file we have orient db dot json okay now oh uh, now open now open the command prompt now enter the startup dot bat this is the bat file for windows system we can start in windows system we can start the open idm software okay if we have a if you are installing in linux system then we have to use the startup dot sh okay so there is a slight difference of the command so there is a startup dot bat is for windows system startup dot sh for linux system okay then hit the enter button so it on one more window open on top of the main window so here you can see the our open idm home 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 path and open idm apps if you want you can change it later okay logging configuration no it will take few minutes to load because of internally it's installing open orient db database so once orient db database installed then it will start the open idm okay now here you can see first of all uh, it is using it is loading boot dot properties so in which we have changed the port so now our port is 8087 yeah now, yeah now open idm started okay now we can see the open idm ready so it means open idm started successfully so here you can check what are the modules loaded so the command is scr list so here we can see what are the modules are loaded okay what are the modules are active what are the modules are unsatisfied okay it means unsatisfied in the sense it's not a loaded into because of we are not configured that modules okay now go to browser and we can access http localhost localhost 8087 so enter admin so this is the admin portal login page so here we have two portals one is the admin portal and second one is self service portal so what is the url of self service portal so self service portal is like you should not enter anything after the port enter directly see slash login it is a default self service url okay now i will show you first admin portal so what is the default username and password of admin portal that is open idm admin this is the username and password also the same name open idm admin so these are the default username and password so click on login yeah so we have logged in admin portal successfully the same way i will show you how to log in self-service portal now i'm clicking on logout now i can i will remove admin on here now enter the same username admin username so open idm admin open idm admin so this is the our self-service portal so you can see our details change password like this okay so now if you want to change the password you can click on change password okay. then you can log out
So here one more URL I will show you. So we have a embedded open IDM having embedded Apache Pelix server. So we can see the Apache Pelix server admin console. So that URL is system console. So it will ask username and password. So what is the default username and password for Pelix server access? So that is the admin admin. Admin admin. So this is the Apache Felix web console. So here you can see the many options. What are the modules we are loaded? What is the license? What is the system information? Okay. What is the log on services? What is the log services? What is the configuration? So you can see the complete information. Okay. So this is the open IDM 4.0 installation. So yeah, thank you. So we will show you in next uh, video how to install open IDM 6.5.0.2. Then you will understand the what is the what are the differences between two versions. Okay, thank you.